Okay, so the Try DC says use elimination slash linear combination to solve the following. Linear combination is just another name for elimination. So, you know, just it's just new vocab, I know. Um, but I need to use elimination. So the goal of elimination is to set up equations so that when I add the two equations together or combine them, right, combine like my like terms, that I'll have one variable that adds up to zero. So A says 3x plus 4y equals 17, and 5x minus 4y equals 17. So I'm looking at it, always look at it first to see if something already is set up to eliminate if I add them together. Right now, if I add these two equations, it looks like I have a positive 4y and a negative 4y, and that equals zero. So right off the bat, my y's are going to eliminate, which is the goal. So I didn't have to write new equations for these. So now I can just combine everything else. So 5x and 3x is 8x. 7 and 17 is 24. So I have 8x equals 24 because 4y and negative 4y is 0. 8 is being multiplied to x, so I need to divide. And so I get x equals 3. Okay, so again, that's only half my problem. I have 3 for x. Now I need to know what y is. So let's put it up here. So that gives me 3 times 3 plus 4y equals 17, or 9 plus 4y equals 17. 9 is positive, so I need to subtract it. It gives me 4y equals 10. Hmm, I think I did something wrong because it's not a nice pretty number. That's always what makes me panic, right? Oh no, I didn't do something right. So, oh, because I just changed this 17 to a 19. No reason at all, just writing too fast. <laughs> so 17 minus nine is eight, much better. And then divide both sides by four, y equals two. Okay, well, since I made a boo-boo there, I really better double check that I have the right answer up here. So this is going to give me 5, and x is 3 minus 4. The y is 2. This gives me 15 minus 8, and that is 7. So it checks. Phew. See how even, I mean, I'm just blowing and going and leaving numbers, changing numbers. No reason whatsoever, just... Going too fast, need to slow down a little bit. All right, let's see if I can move this just a little bit so you can see the end of my paper. Maybe, maybe, there we go. Okay, so now it says use elimination again to solve the following. Okay, this time my equations aren't automatically going to add up to zero. So, because three and five gives me eight x, four, negative 4y and positive 8y gives me positive 4y. So neither one of those can eliminate unless I change one or both of the equations. I notice that I can make this a negative 8 very easily to make this add up to 0, having a positive 8y and a negative 8y. The only way I can change this 4 to an 8 is to multiply this whole equation by 2. So I'm not going to do anything to the bottom equation because it's going to eliminate by leaving that an 8y. I'm going to go ahead and work on eliminating these y's here. So i got to put this 2 times everything. So 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times negative 4y is negative 8y. And then 2 times 12 is 24. So now if I go to add these together or combine them, that means my 8y and my negative 8y is going to equal 0, which is exactly what I was trying to do. And the 6 and 5 give me 11x. Over here gives me 44. So now if I divide both sides by 11, I get x equals 4. There's half my equation, or half my solution, I mean. So now I have to substitute the 4 in over here in one of these equations to find out what the y is going to equal. So let's just stick with the first one. So x is 4. I don't know what y is. So this gives me 12 minus 4y equals 12. 
So now if I divide, or sorry, subtract 12 from both sides, I get negative 4y equals 0. <coughs> now, is that okay? The answer is yes, that is okay. Just because there's a 0 here doesn't mean we can't keep going. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 4 to get 1y equals. Now, what is 0 over negative 4? Just 0. So I'm saying my answer is 4, 0. Wait, let me just double check my try these things here and make sure I did them right. 4, 0, yay, we got it. So I would go ahead and if I, since I, you don't know at home if you got it right, you would take this and plug it into the second equation like I did up here and make sure that it works. But I'm gonna, just for time, I'm gonna skip that step and tell you that the textbook tells me I'm right. So now I have part C, and again, if I were just to add these two equations right now, 18 and 11 gives me 29x, 36 and 9, that gives me 45y, and then that means I need to have one of either the x's be 0 or the y's be 0. So the easiest one here is going to be, I know that I can make this 9 a 36, because 9 times 4 is 36, but it's going to be a positive if I don't change it. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a cough today. I don't know why, it's like a tickle. I'm not going to change the top equation this time at all. But I am going to change this bottom one, and if I, mul like I, said, if I multiply by 4, there's just not enough room to put it over there. Let me move it to the other side. Put it over here. If I multiply through by 4, I will get the 36, but it'll be a positive 36. And 36 and 36 is not 0, right? It's, what, 72? I don't want to have 72y. I want to have 0y. So I'm going to make this a negative 4 right here. It's just a little trick to change the signs. So negative 4 and positive 11 is going to be negative 44x. Negative 4 and positive 9 is negative 36y, which is what I wanted. I wanted these to add up to 0. And then negative 4 and negative 30, that's going to be a positive 120. Okay, so I have bigger numbers, so if we want to get out our calculators, that's fine. No harm in that. But now I need to add these together. So I am going to go ahead and just use my little calculator here to see what negative, negative 44 plus 18 is for how many x's I have. I have negative 26x. This is 0. And then I have 120 minus 42, or negative 42 plus 120 is 78. Perfect. Okay, so the next step is to divide both sides by negative 26, and I get x equals negative 3. So, what is y? I have to plug it in. Now remember, I don't want to plug in this negative 3 to any equation I've changed. I want to go back to the original because I know I didn't mess up the original. The original is given. I might have messed up over here. So it's really important that I plug in to an original. So I'm going to go ahead and do the top one again. So 18 times negative 3 plus 36y equals negative 42. So 18 times 3 is 54, and it's going to be a negative 54. Negative times positive, right? So it's a negative 54, so I need to add 54 to both sides in order to get my variable. Okay, so add 54 to both sides. I almost subtracted 54 there. So that gives me 36y equals, let's see, 54 gives me a 12. So divide both sides by 36. And I'm going to get a fraction on this. 12 over 36 reduces. 12 goes into 12 one time, and 12 goes into 36 three times. So my answer is negative one third, I'm sorry, negative three and one third is with the y. So this is my final answer. Now it's going to be tricky to check it, but we can. So let's do it. I want to show you what that looks like. x we said is negative 3, 
So I'm gonna, I already solved for one third up here. So I need to make sure one third m matches down here. And then I've got plus nine times one third equals negative 30. So I am checking to see if this works. This gives me negative 33. And if you look here, this is like nine over one and nine and then three right we multiply across 9 times 1 is 9 1 times 3 is 3 now I can reduce this 3 divided by or I'm sorry 9 divided by 3 is a number it is 3 so I've got negative 33 plus a positive 3 that's going to equal negative 30 so we are done so even though there's a fraction there I was able to check and I got the correct answer